This is the third lesson on microeconomics. On the first lesson we looked at uh, unlimited desires and limited resources and the idea of opportunity cost and how it's a job of an economist to allocate those resources. On the second lesson we were looking at positive economics and normative economics and once again we looked at production possibility curves and the idea that a lot of economics is obviously based upon opinions. There's some, sometimes we should use the positive economics which is based upon fact. Right, what we're now going to look at is the law of diminishing marginal utility, which says that man is a self-interested individual who wants to maximise his or her utility. So this is the hypothesis of diminishing marginal utility. This is pretty straightforward. In fact, I've just given this lesson, but I forgot to switch the camera on. That's why I'm smiling to myself. Right, this is the marginal utility falling, falling down here. And... That, in a sense, relates to the demand curve, which I'm going to explain in, in a second. But the, a law of economics states that as a person increases consumption of a product, there is a decrease in marginal utility. Well, of course, there is, because if you go for a buffet, which is like, uh, you know, you, you pay £15, you can eat as much uh, Chinese food as you like, right? eventually your utility is going to fall and you, and you won't just eat and eat and eat obviously because eventually the, the, the first pancake roll is really really nice and uh, chicken chop suey is really nice but, uh, but once you've had loads and loads of it your utility will eventually fall. So this is this place here and you will stop eating you will stop eating here because the marginal utility here becomes negative okay you don't want to eat anymore if you eat anymore you probably throw up Right, so this is the law of diminishing marginal utility, and that then relates to the demand curve over here. And it says at a high price, people won't demand much, but people are getting lots of utility, so therefore they may still buy it. But as we have more and more of the goods, so the utility falls. The marginal utility rule states that a good or services will be consumed as long as the marginal utility is greater than or equal to the marginal cost. Right, so this showed, the demand curve shows, as I've just said, shows the margin, marginal, marginal utility, and as we have more and more of the goods, so the utility falls, just like a demand curve, and this here shows the marginal cost curve. If we go beyond this point, so if we consumed here, at that point, the marginal cost of the good will be greater than the satisfaction that the consumer derives from the good. Now, at that point, we would be worsening economic welfare because the cost of producing the good, as I've just said, is more than the utility of demanding the good. So we always want to get to this point. Okay, that is where price is equal to marginal, marginal cost. The value that we place on the good is equal to the cost of producing it. And as a 17 year old student, that's what I just used to learn it. But it does make logical sense. But if we are be Beyond this point, you'd say, well, it's better to be here because the, the value we, that we place in the good is greater than the, the cost of producing it. However, if we are there, then we lose all of this extra utility by moving to that point. So we want to get to the point of where price is equal to marginal cost because that is the point where we can maximize our efficiency. So, so far in the course, we've done productive efficiency, getting a maximum output from the inputs, Remember, and that's at the edge of the production possibility curve. And then we did technical, efficient, we did technical efficiency, and then we're now doing allocative, we're now doing allocative efficiency. Sorry, productive efficiency is producing at the lowest possible cost, isn't it? But then you've got to have technical efficiency, which is getting the maximum output from the inputs. Okay, and allocative efficiency is where the price is equal to the marginal cost. So this is the law of diminishing, diminishing margin, marginal utility. Pretty obvious. Apart from, this is the important point, remember that it's based on the idea of self-interest. But what is self-interest? Well, self-interest may be, may be that you don't want to just maximise your own utility, you want to be a social entrepreneur and help others, okay? Which is great. But then the self-interest people would still argue that you're still acting self-interest because your self-interest is actually in helping other people. But anyway, this is a major thing in economics and most of economics is based on the theory of self-interest.